hello everyone so i'm back here again with another video with more clarification and more information on the eidl advance or eidl grant money you might hear me saying eidl grant one time and then eidl advance another time well they both mean the same thing it's one and the same thing so uh, and in fact actually you may hear me saying targeted eidl advance which is the new name given by the sba as they are rolling out this program which is now being called as targeted eidl advance um, I'm going to cover in this video as to who qualifies and who doesn't qualify, what the application is going to require, um, and what kind of email to expect from the SBA. Um, SBA has started accepting applications on the targeted EIDL advance and what it is going to look like. Um, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting our channel. Your support means a lot to us. And if you haven't already subscribed, do consider subscribing. I would really like it. And please, please, please consider liking and sharing this video with the other business owners so that they know what to expect as well. Well, so let's go back and dive deeper into the EIDL or targeted EIDL advance. Um, and as many of you have been asking, uh, you know, and maybe wondering if you have not already applied for this before or if you're not 100% sure uh, whether you check that box, to be considered to receive the EIDL advance or not, can you apply now? Uh, I would say no, you cannot apply right now. Um, the EI, uh, SBA is not accepting any more EIDL advance applications at all. Now, um, for those of you who either received less than $10,000 or who did not receive any EIDL money, even though you checked that box, um, and if you're wondering that you can just go ahead and apply on the SBA EIDL advance portal, uh, unfortunately, that's not possible either because this time around, um, this EIDL advance is only available to the targeted business owner population. And so the SBA is, uh, you know, accepting applications for this by invitation only. So what SBA is doing, they will send you an email. And once you receive the email, you have to take the necessary steps as it's mentioned in the email. Now, who qualifies for this uh, targeted EIDL advance? It's the business owners who either received less than $10,000 in grant earlier or uh, who did not receive any EIDL grant money because SBA ran out of the money. Those are the business owners who would qualify for this. And uh, starting February 1st, 2021, SBA has started sending out this email invite to apply for the grant. It may take several weeks before all emails are sent out to the businesses because what SB is doing, they are sending out these emails in the priority order, first priority and second priority. So the first priority uh, business owners have already been sent out the emails. They are sending it out in groups again. So do not be alarmed if you have not received your email invite right away. Uh, and the most important thing that the all communications from the SBA will be sent from an official government email, uh, which will end with at sba.gov. So make sure that you're not giving out any of the vital information to any other sources besides sba.gov. Um, the second priority group email, uh, SBA has not yet announced when they're planning to roll that out. Um, as of right now, currently, there are no plans of the SBA to open up the EIDL advance program to the new applicants beyond the first two priority groups. The SBA's ability to accept new applications for the targeted EIDL advance will depend on the availability of the funds after the first and the second priority group uh, receives and claims their e uh, EIDL money, or I would say EIDL advance money. Now, who would qualify for this advance money? Um, it's the business owners located in the low income community and, um, you know, business owners who can demonstrate more than 30% reduction in revenue during an eight week period starting on March 2nd, 2020 or later. So if, it, if you are the business owner who had the drop in revenue of more than 30% in any eight week period, after March 2nd, 2020, and you can show that you are eligible for to be considered for the EIDL advance money. And if an applicant meets uh, low income community criteria, they will be asked to provide gross monthly revenue as well. 
uh, at the same time, you know, um, all firms combined with monthly earnings received, uh, profits and salaries and stuff like that. At the same time, it has to be an employee. Uh, I mean, it has to be a business owner with less than 300 employees. So there are three criteria. It's not saying and or or. You have to be meeting all three criteria. The business owner in the low income community group, um, the business owner with more than 30% drop in revenue in eight week period and the business owner who has 300 or less employees. So it's and, 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 it's not or. Now, please do not submit a new uh, COVID-19 EIDL applications because SBA is only considering the prior applications for this advance money only. Um, They're not considering any new applications at the moment. And if you are eligible uh, to receive this targeted EIDL advance, you will receive an email from the SBA. Now, while we are waiting for the SBA invitation to apply for the targeted EIDL advance, what are some of the things that you can do to prepare uh, to apply for this? So if you have not yet filed your 2019 federal tax return, you definitely must consider, uh, you know, finishing up that process. And you will be required to provide businesses monthly gross receipts for each month from January 2019 through the most recent month to date period, which means January 2019 through January 2021. Uh, and this information will be used to determine that your business meets um, that greater than 30% duration in revenue requirement during that eight week period beginning March 2nd to uh, 2020 or not. Um, let me share with you all what that email uh, from the SBA looks like. So here is the email to look from the SBA. This is how the email is going to look like. Uh, it is coming from disaster customer services at sba.gov. Um, and it says uh, the subject line of the email is SBA application number, invitation to submit your COVID-19 targeted EIDL advance. This application will have two reference codes. Uh, one is your prior EIDL application number at the same time. It will have new uh, application invite number for the targeted EIDL advance as well. So keep an eye for this kind of email coming in from the SBA. Now, the other thing that you're looking from uh, is, uh, you know, this email will tell um, that the dear SBA, uh, you know, dear applicant, the SBA is launching a new round of economic injury advances called targeted EIDL advance. Um, and, you know, it will go in detail as to what exactly, you know, that uh, SBA is looking for in that application. Now, um, uh, there are uh, about 25 questions as part after, you know, once you have received that uh, email from the SBA and you click on, uh, you know, uh, to apply for the targeted EIDL advance, it's a green button on top of that email. You click on that, it will take you to the new uh, SBA page. Um, the application will look like about 25 questions up front, which is kind of all preliminary question. Um, to identify, you know, about any conviction, any felony, any bankruptcy, what kind of business it is, and mostly kind of multiple choice question kind of thing. Um, whether your business is impacted because of the COVID, whether you receive the PPP loan, whether you receive the EIDL loan, stuff like that. And then you will need uh, to uh, supply with your business and the personal information. And then you will need your gross revenue uh, for 2019, all 12 months, 2020, all 12 months to this date, which means uh, January of 2021, month by month, each revenue, you have to just report it. Again, for this EIDL grant, um, you know, or this targeted EIDL advance application, you will be required to certify that all the information that you are submitting is correct. And you may be required to prove it to the SBA in case if you are audited in future. At the same time, SBA may require you to submit a transcript, which is 4506T. Um, right now, SBA's goal is to process all applications within 21 business days. And if your application is approved after you have submitted the application, you will receive another email notification as well as the ACH deposit to the bank account that you provided in your application. And if there has been any change in the bank account, it is your responsibility that you have to notify the SBA 
that there has been change in the uh, you know in the bank account information. Um, when the uh, when SBA initiates that ACH uh, this time around, they're kind of more um, getting cautious because of so many fraud and so many mistakes and stuff like that that happened in the first round. So this time, what SBA is doing, they will make sure that it is a business bank account. It is matching with the business name that you have given to the SBA. Um, it's not a DBA name or something like that. It's not a personal account. You know those kind of things. If it is matching the EIN number that you have provided to the SBA. Um, and then and only then they will initiate the ACH transaction. So make sure that your account information and everything is correct. And if not, make sure to update it in time. Um, I think that's it for now. Uh, this information will be greatly uh, helpful for many, many business owners. Keep looking for that email from uh, in your inbox. If you have received that email from the SBA, it's again, disaster customer service at sba.gov. Um, and if you have received that email, do not ignore it. Make sure that you take action uh, as promptly as possible or forward that email to your accountant who can guide you with the next steps. Already, feel free to share this video with as many business owners as possible so that they, they can receive the advance money which they have not been able to get earlier. Already, bye for now.